Hey, welcome back. Just found some, just found a couple of things. Both girls. So, but when the second girl came out, I meet. I was like, okay, I need to talk to Andrew about this. I mean, listen, he is my friend. We do have a relationship. I'm not just going to go to the internet and start talking about all this without even reaching out to him. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, I needed to hear from him what happened. So I talked to him and he was, you know, look, he's in a really bad mental headspace. Obviously he was like soaring on top of the world and now he's like, can't. so this is Ethan Klein, uh, confirming that, uh, what the people have, uh, what the, um, allegation, confirming the allegations are true. Um, and that Andrew Callahan is apparently having panic attacks and shit, which, I, boo, boo fucking who? Especially, like, if this is confirmed, like, seems like it's fucking con pretty fucking open and shut at this point for me. Cancelled. Uh, but, but I, I tried to, I wanted the details. I said, yo, what's up with these allegations? You gotta tell me what's going on. I talked on the phone with him. The first girl, he told me, I'm just going to tell you what he said. By the way, I was hoping to wait to talk about this till he put out a statement. He told me that he was going to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's been a statement put out as well. There's a statement put that's just statement been put out. At 12. I think he's working on a statement. I guess it's going to come out today. Yeah. I hope that... Honestly... I hope that uh, what uh, the, the statement that was put out by Andrew Callahan's lawyers today, I just read it like while I was in the toilet. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like the law. Andrew Callahan's lawyer put out a statement to TMZ over this. And that could, should probably uh, tell you everything you really need to know about uh, that. But, like, to TMZ? Really? Really? TMZ. As if this is some sort of, like, uh, celebrity drama bullshit? What that Fucking hell, like... I don't know. This is just really, really disgusting. Um... I haven't finished watching this one. This is why I just I'll want to watch it now. It's just when. like... So I'm sure he wants people to read his statement. So if I could read it on stream, that'd be good. It better be like him doing a, be a better job than his lawyer did is all I have to say. And I'll tell you what I mean by that as soon as this is over. I wanted to make sure he was like in a safe place, that he wasn't... Um... Who cares? Why are you saying stop? Don't say anything. I'm not, I'm not... I'm just telling you what happened, okay? I'm just being transparent. Oh, you don't want me to say what he told me? The fuck? Why? Why? I don't understand your guys' I don't understand the logic, but y'all a lot of y'all say don't say anything. So No, no, it's not private. He he listen guys, this it was a private conversation, but what he told me, he sent me stuff that he want that like he wanted me to convey. Okay? You know what I mean? This isn't I'm not like um Saying stuff that was said to me in private, if that's what you. What well, do you think that? He, like he does was, he think that Ethan Klein is gonna fucking um, fix this shit for him or something? Whoa, Ethan, fucking hell, man! You really need to tread lightly on this shit. I don't think Ethan Klein realizes like how fucking close he is to the fucking to the fucking like flames himself at this point. Uh, first off, he the first thing he did was to call uh, his friend. Uh, over the matter uh, directly uh, instead of, I guess, maybe reaching out to the people making the allegations, which is probably, which is more important than um, anything else. Like, their, their words uh, are the most important thing right now. Um, and you'll see why I, why I'm pissed, so pissed off after this, Sending I guess. stuff to show it to Hassan text messages and stuff and stories like because he Son, he's saying fuck. that he wants people to hear his side of stuff at least if people are talking about it and so he told me this stuff two sides huh uh, that's why they go into team. that's why they that went I, to team share like honestly honestly um 
Yeah, Hassan's talked about it, yeah. That's where I found out about it in the first place, but I didn't want to... I, I haven't watched anything Hassan has said because it's irrelevant. There is nothing that... The only reason I'm watching Ethan Klein talk about this is because um, Andrew Callahan has confirmed the allegations, um, apparently. So, that that's the that's the only thing. I don't give a fuck about um, uh, them trying to whitewash his image at this, at this point, but, like, geez, tread lightly, man. Like, honestly, it's going to be another um, Johnny Depp Amber Heard thing. Uh, like, the the um, character assassination has just started. People are saying, why are you conveying things from him? I'm just literally saying what he said, but if you don't want me to talk about it... Two sides to every story, blah, 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 blah. The only side of the story that matters when it comes to consent is the consenting party. If one person consents and the other person does not then the person who consented can shut the fuck up. Their opinions do not fucking matter. Ever. And I won't. I don't Two sides of a story. Fuck off. Fuck I mean, off with this shit. I'm reading chat. I'm trying to get... I am, I am very... I am very fucking interested in... Um, I, I am actually quite interested in what the cishet white man uh, debate bro like streamer community go where they go with this because I know that um, Andrew Callahan is is their um, is 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 their golden boy when it comes to content like he is an amazing content farm for them he makes a lot of money so it's really going to be interesting seeing how capitalists who have leftist aesthetics react to this kind of uh, fucking scandal. When their content, cre when one of the sources that they rely upon to create their wealth is um, coming under um, these kinds of allegations, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Logic here. I mean, there, he's a golden boy with me too. I've reacted to his comment content too, and I told you the other day, like how how, how big of a fat L I took for not like talking about the cultural appropriation stuff more. I'm a, I I am as guilty as the fucking rest of them for this shit. At the end of the day, like I would and and I would rather take a big fat L on my position on the matter right now. Um I would rather that than 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 be a fucking fence sitter on this on this issue. Like ugh. We can't keep on doing this whole Johnny Depp uh, Amber Heard bullshit over and over again. Um, like, because we're literally, like, fucking, we're, we're doing, we're doing the, the she's lying bullshit with people with literal bullet holes in their feet now. Like, that's how fucking wild this shit is. You think I'm, if you think I'm, like, going, going mad on this, I guarantee you, n over the next week, Character assassination after character assassination, it is going to be the same shit. They're going to talk about um, money and coercion and all of this stuff and ignore the fact that these people did not consent to the sexual interactions that they had with Andrew Callahan. That's just it. No, he did not say they're lying, guys. Uh, let me at least fucking explain before you'll jump down. Well, yeah. And Isham, like honestly, I, 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 I am fucking happy for once. Uh, for like, I, I, for, for, for yeah, that, that for once, um, that's being spoken about. Um, in result to white women talking about their their problems, you know. Bro, like, hello, let me talk. So hard to talk about this stuff, which I get. You know, the people get really there's high emotions and stuff when you talk about this stuff. So it's it's hard for everybody. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I don't, I totally understand the people in the chat have strong opinions about this, right? Like that that I get, and me too. That's why this whole is just very hard to talk about. But I'm just gonna be, I just want to be transparent. I mean, he's gonna put out a statement that is more detailed and obviously. Yeah. The way that he wants it to should say be stuff, talked about. I'm not that. betraying his trust or anything. <clears throat> I'm sure he would be fine to know. 
Look, chat. Yeah, I mean, listen. Is it's okay. I understand thing? why y'all are getting emotional. I'm not even mad. I'm just trying to understand why you guys said. Um, Planet Kaylee said sadness. I don't know what to think of an essay and worse. I do feel men can redeem themselves and his response would be a great interest to women like me. I appreciate that uh, comment, Planet Kaylee. Chat needs to calm down. Ethan's doing his best. Tough situation. It's all good. Say whatever you think needs to be said on your part. Ignore the chat. You're doing great, sweetie. My feelings as a fan of all parties, we don't want you to defend him and help him if he wants to misconstrue the party. Listen, I'm not, I'm not doing that. It's not my intention. I said straight out the gate. Can I just, let me just say it before everyone makes assumptions and shit. Let me just say what I was going to say. <coughs> so, first I just wanted to make sure that he told me he was, like, at a psych ward. He was not doing well, and he was having panic attacks and stuff. And I, first of all, wanted to make sure that he was safe, that he wasn't going to hurt himself, that he was with people that cared about him. Obviously, I don't, I think, I'm, I don't want him to die. I'm hoping none of y'all think he, he should die for this, do you? No, but I think, I, I don't want him to die, definitely. I just think that that's a secondary consideration, honestly. Uh, am I an awful pe per am I an awful person for not really caring about his mental health right now? Is that am I an awful person? I don't know. Like I spent so long caring about the mental health of my um, abusive of her ex while I was with them that I didn't like really think about my own needs in that consider in in that in that uh, fucking circumstance. So like I I, I guess. For me, you can sort of like miss me with the with the uh, sympathy aspect. Like again, I would rather take a big fat L on this whole issue than not be reacting to it in this fucking way. I don't know. Call me heartless. And so I did confirm that he's doing okay. Just so been there, done that. It's just fucking have no time for it anymore. Again, I'm not. I really him. don't I believe the those victims 100% since they came out with their videos. So what was I saying? So, well, what I was going to say before y'all jumping to conclusions Based. is that he confirmed what they're saying is true. Okay? Y'all fucking, you know what I mean? He confirmed that he knew the girls and that he had encounters with them. So, right out the bat, you know what I mean? He was pretty open and basically that's what I wanted to hear, right? Like, he, he confirmed that this stuff basically happened. What do you mean he's gaslighting me? He literally told me it happened. Like, what the fuck? They're being pre preemptive. This is really interesting. Ethan's, like, Ethan's, um, chat is, like, more left-wing than I fucking thought. Guys, listen. Oh, no, the abusers isn't mentally well. Listen, I, I know it's not about him being the victim, but I don't want him to die. Okay? Like, I have a obligation as a human being to another human being to make sure that he's... Not like mm. suicidal, and I'm mm. just gonna mm. not. Change. I don't know. I, like I understand where he's coming from, and that's that. That's like absolutely legit, and I don't have any like um sh don't no shade against people who feel like that. It's just I've I've spent way too many. I I've I've cried way too many tears over other people's um suicidality while they're abusing me. So I just don't have any tears left for that. Check on him, like. You guys gotta pick anyway. What the fuck? I gotta stop reading the chat. Y'all get in my head, stun locking me. Yeah, don't look at chat. Fuck. I <laughs> yeah. don't know what it's like to be stun locked. What? But anyway, it's not about him, right? I haven't watched so, his content, so I, I don't know, know so how how, how often that happens. The one time I read chat, I gotta stop reading it. It's, yeah, it's impossible. Right, let me get my fucking thoughts together on this. So well, once you've noticed chat, it's impossible to not look at it, especially if you've got ADHD. I mean, my, 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 my main takeaway is that he confirmed he knew the the girls, right? a pattern as well um, and basically that's all i'll say i mean i talked to him a lot i wanted to get hit i wanted to hear from him what happened and that's all i can that's all i'll say is that he confirmed he knew them so like that that's not that's defending the most, him at all i mean and that is the most important thing that ethan klein can uh, convey at this point honestly like there, there, there is nothing else that there is nothing else that matters i wouldn't have even talked about um like making sure he's in a safe place like uh, miss me uh, sorry I'm an awful person who doesn't care. Um, meh. 
Um, but yeah, talking the, the, this just confirms that so if anything is corroborating what they said. Yeah. So I basically am just waiting. I really just waiting for a statement to kind of. I, I, there's not even really a conclusion. I mean, it sucks. You know what the fuck? I mean, I mean, no. what the fuck? There's no good outcome for this. It sucks. There is no good outcome for anyone. What do you think? What, what do you think? Um, what do you think that the um, the people who were? What do you think the people who um, went through that shit um, are going to get out of this? Money? Like fucking? Well, that's bare bare minimum shit right there. But like. That's not going to take away the 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 fucking shit. You never walk away from that. It doesn't go away. What happened doesn't go away, and it affects not just you, but everyone that you ever fucking that it, 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 when you're when you have gone through abuse, it affects every relationship you ever have for the rest of your fucking life. You have to explain to your partner about these issues. Like, yeah, you have to, like, explain why, you know, you'll just burst into tears over the smallest things, because you're fucking afraid of being screamed at or hit by the partner, the new partner that you, that has never done those things, but because cause you're in that mindset of avoiding conflict so much that it creates conflict in the end because you're so scared of having conflict that you just shut down and you don't talk about your issues with your partner and yeah every relationship you ever have with any human being after that kind of abuse is tainted So yeah, no one's, no one's, no one's, no one's benefiting out of this. The victims can't benefit out of this. They've already had everything. A lot of they've always already had everything, everything of value taken away from them in in that aspect of their life. But yeah. It's very upsetting. It's weird because, like, I'm both a fan of him and a friend of him. So it's just. It really sucks. Fucked. What can I say? I mean, y'all fucking in the same boat as me. That's it. That's all I got to say about it. I mean, I don't have any other fucking thing to say about it at this time. I don't. Some of y'all want me to, like. <sighs> Four minutes ago. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Sorry, just had to reply to something. <sighs> okay. Now, I linked it in my uh, Discord so I could uh, look at it. Um... So this is uh, a statement not from him himself, but from his lawyers. And uh, it seems to me that uh, his lawyer is uh, either Chet Hanks or uh, one of the other... Um, people that he's exploited <laughs> for the, what some of the people who, that uh, he's exploited, uh, exploiting um, cultural appropriation to like write this. Uh, like, I don't know why. I mean, for me, I know why it is. This is this. Yeah, it's fucked. 
Um, so, yeah, as myriad uh, sexual conduct, misconduct allegations against him build, YouTube and HBO documentary host Andrew Callahan finally responds. No, he doesn't. It's his lawyer with counterclaims of his own. I hope for his sake. I hope for but fuck his sake. Who gives a fuck about his sake? I hope for the victim's sake that he doesn't fucking go in the direction that his lawyers are obviously are. Um, Andrew Callahan, host of the popular YouTube show Channel Five, and the recent HBO documentary This Place Rules, is reportedly devastated by the mounting allegations of sexual misconduct that he's currently facing. In a statement to TMZ, the 25-year-old video journalist's lawyer danced around claims that Callahan pressured women into having sex with him. Like, uh, let me translate for you. They didn't talk about the allegations at all. Um, and alleged that one of his accusers reached out to ask for money before taking her claims public. Andrew is devastated that he's being accused of any type of physical or mental coercion against anyone, the reps told TMZ. Conversations about pressure and consent are extremely important, and Andrew wants to have these conversations so he can continue to learn and grow. This is the first time that Callahan, whose work involves traveling across the country interviewing, interviewing extremists and countercultural figures, has spoken publicly. Since the allegations went viral, I, I don't know why I keep on so saying it's him, it's his lawyer, it's his lawyer that uh, posted that. Like, if it turns out that this is the way that he's going with, like, he can get so far fucked that I, I honestly, there is no, there is no repairing my view of Andrew Callahan if this is, if, if this is the direction they, they are going. Like, literally, the first statement, the very first statement that's coming out is immediately, immediately a character assassination to TMZ. As if it's some kind of celebrity fucking drama. What the fuck? Who gives a fuck? if they asked for money. Getting money is fucking bare minimum for this shit. Who fucking cares? The only fucking thing that cares, the I only don't, don't. fucking thing that matters is that he fucking did it. Character assassination. Next, over the next week, every sing they're going to go with a fine tooth comb and bring up everything that they possibly can about these these women and attack them in any way that they can. Even if this turns out to be true, this is the first fucking statement that he's made. Not to apologize, not to confirm or deny, just simply to say that the people accusing him are trying to extort him over it. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't give a fuck. If you are, if you abuse someone sexually, you get what you fucking deserve. I just don't give a fuck. And, and other people can if they want. More power to you. But... Yeah, I, 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 I yeah, that, that's, that's, that's it for me. Um, this, so, uh, this, whose work has spoken publicly, blah, blah, blah. The most visible claims were in several videos from one young woman who detailed her claims of abuse at length. Her TikTok account has since gone private. Other alleged victims chimed in across social media after the initial videos began picking up steam, and at least one collaborator, Tim Heidecker, a producer on This Place Rules said he will not work with Callahan again in the future in light of the accusations. Based Tim Heidecker moment. Uh, however, TMZ also cited an anonymous legal representative for the filmmaker claiming that the same TikToker who made the initial allegations also came forward in an effort to extort Callahan for money. Show me the fucking receipts. Also, fucking, I do not give a fuck. Also, ratio plus L. While every dynamic is open, like, and this, this, this is, this is what really, like, this is the just, just the cherry on the top of this fucking statement. 
While every dynamic is open to interpretation and proper communication is critical from all those involved, repeated requests for money should not be a part of these conversations. Why did you fucking bring it up then, you piece of shit? Also, here we go, while even one concerned partner is too many, you mean sexual assault allegations against your client, there are always multiple sides to a story. Th yeah. Yeah. There's two sides, y'all. There's two sides. It's, it's okay, because there's two sides. You know, he may have sexually assaulted these women, but, um, you know, like, he, he has excuses for that, apparently. There's two sides. Somehow. Somehow. Can somebody fucking explain to me what, what could possibly, uh, be, justify rape? Okay, can somebody do that for me? Can someone justify rape to me? Can someone justify sexual assault? Can someone justify any of this for me? Like... What, why Why does his side of the story matter? At this point. The only thing it hasn't done is like, gone to, gone to a fucking, um... Like, court. And that, the, that, that's probably what it should fucking do at this point. But can somebody explain to me why I should give a fuck about his side of the story at this point? Tell it to the fucking judge, I don't give a fuck. There are so many other talented and creative people out there to spend your time and money um, following and enjoying the content of. Um, Andrew Callahan is also, like every other leftist, or like, I, I don't know what his political affiliations are, honestly, I think he just likes to watch the world burn, which is, you know, Hassan style, um, but, like, again, like always, it's not praxis, it's, it's entertainment, you, you are being entertained, you aren't doing anything to change the world, he isn't changing the fucking world. The world hasn't changed at all since he's started his documentaries. Um, he's not that special. He's just happened to be in the right place at the right time and have a lot of talent. But there are a lot of people with talent out there. So, yeah. Who gives a fuck if uh, one person falls off the fucking pyramid? Just watch the next person that comes up. Don't waste your time or energy on it. Like... Yeah, the only thing that matters, like really matters right now, is what the is what the um, victims want going forward. At the end of the day, nothing else really matters. His side of the story doesn't matter to me. You can't justify being in a sexual experience with someone where the other party didn't consent. Like, th there's no justification for that. An RV isn't cheap. He's had that RV for, like, years. I'm pretty sure. Like, he lives out of that thing. That's his home. As far as I know. But yeah, sorry, I kind of derailed everything with that. <laughs> Fuck. I'm not, I am not going to have time to do these. I'm going to have to do these next week. I am a pet of years and... I mean, yeah, leading up to that point, yeah, that, that was his house, that was his home, he lived out of that thing. I mean, but what sucks is he's got an amazing story, right? He's got an amazing story, he's got amazing content, um, he's just, like, fucked everything up and ruined his life. And then blamed other people for it. And the first statement we get from him and his affiliates is that, um is to character assassinate them when cute people tell you about Warhammer yeah maybe but yeah Andrew Callahan all gas no breaks um, this place rules on HBO uh, he sexually assaulted a couple of uh, people and uh, we're moving into the Amber Heard um, 
we're moving into the Amber Heard uh, um, stage of um, of the allegations, where uh, his legal team w- is is already starting to try and. Uh, m- character assassinate um, all of the people who are accusing him of sexual assault. It's just... I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm not su- I'm not surprised at all. I'm not... I'm really not... Oh, gosh. I'm gonna die. Um, I'm not surprised, honestly. Like, I-, I feel like I should be surprised, but I'm not. This is just how it goes these days. Like... This is how it goes these days. Like people are, people just, yeah. 